spongy and messy. <laughs> so for those of you who find a mess a little bit scary, then uh, you might want to go and grab yourself a cup of tea. Anyway, <laughs> welcome everybody. And if you're watching this on the replay, thank you so much for popping in and uh, finding out what I'm doing tonight. So I was having a look at some of the pins that I've pinned um, over the last few months and looking at styles that I've wanted to try and have a go at. And this is what I would call kind of like grungy mixed media style. It's not actually mixed media because we're not kind of mixing media. We're just using ink and card and paper, but it's kind of a collage kind of effect type thing. We might add some extra things in it. We'll see. But um, to start off with, we're just going to start layering down some colour. And I might do that partly by sponging, by squishing and scraping the ink pads. We're just going to have some fun getting some colour down onto paper. So I've got my Stampin' Up! blending brushes here. And I'm actually going to do something a bit scary. I'm actually going to go direct from the ink pad to my brush, straight to the paper, and see what happens. OK, so I'm just going to say a quick hello to everybody who's watching on the live because it's always so nice to have uh, company while, while I do all my uh, creating. And it's so nice to have familiar people come in and say hello. But it is also absolutely lovely to welcome new uh, crafters to my channel. And uh, please do say hello and... Um, let me know where you're from as well. It's always great to also find out you know, where people are from internationally. So hi, Christine, Martina, Linda, Wendy, Wendy, Deborah, Nessa, uh, Lorraine, Deborah, Deborah, happy birthday. Janice, Inika, Bonnie, M Michelle, Deborah, hi. Jane, Minda. <laughs> Sorry, not new from the... Oh, no, you're not new, Enika. You've been a while, a long time. <laughs> been here a long time, rather, not been a while. Okay, right, so I'm going straight to paper. So this means that if there's a blob, there's a blob, all right? So we're just going to go for it and get some colour down. It's quite good for my arms. It's a good workout. So I'm just going to go just wherever I feel like going. I'm not going to think about it too much, apart from when there's a little gap there, I feel it needs a bit of a fill in. So you can see sometimes I get these splodgy marks, but actually the more colour that you lay down, these marks do go. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to go direct like this. <laughs> That's quite fun. Just goes all splodgy wodgy. I'm um, feeling okay ish, Wendy. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I've just been a bit busy again today moving some things and we took all our camping gear to my in laws. Now, I forgot to say also remember when you're doing any ink blending. Um, it might be worth just holding a piece of paper or using a piece of paper to hold your paper with because the ink does transfer from your hands. So, right, so we've had some seaside spray there and uh, I've got so saffron here to the sun, which I was going to add. So I think I'm going to add that now and then I've got pretty peacock as well, which I think... I think I might do some scraping. I've just re-inked this So Saffron. And I do know that if I mix this So Saffron near the blue, it will go kind of a greeny shade, which is what I kind of want. I do want a bit of a mixing of colour here. So. Oh. <laughs> Okay-ish. Um, I, I just... I'm feeling a little bit weary, I guess. Yeah. But I'm okay. We, um, as I said, we we're cleaning out... Well, my husband was clearing out the garage, so he took, took another load of stuff to the 
the dump or the tip or whatever you want to call it, the recycling centre. And then we went through all our tents and camping equipment to decide what we were keeping and not keeping and, and so on. And then, oh, this morning, sorry, the exciting news of the morning was that we I went to let the carpet people in. So it was a lovely team, a family team. There's a the guy who owns the company and then his two sons and a nephew were fitting my car new carpets. So they've done two rooms and they're going to be finishing off tomorrow. So it's nice to have sort of fresh smelling carpets because the um, owners before we bought the house were dog owners and so there is a little sort of odour of odour odour um shen <laughs> if you know what i mean <laughs> oh i hope you've had a lovely day deborah oh i hope i'm choosing colors that you like i should have asked you what colors you wanted me to do that's what i tend to do when it's somebody's birthday you get a choice oh well i'll see how long this takes me and then i might let do something for deborah you lay, you lay, oh. A birthday yodel, that's so cool. Okay, so this is um, Tranquil Tide that I'm just doing a little bit of scraping. There, like that. And I've got some other stamps just off to the side, but I want, I think I want to add some more colour yet. You've never had carpets. Ah, yeah, kind of like wet dog, but just doggy, doggy smell. <laughs> so this is soft sea foam and I feel like I'm running out of time and energy. So I'm just going to put this straight on. Actually, I'm just going to pad it straight on because I think this actually needs re-inking. So let's just pop the colour straight on like this because it's not very dark. It, it, yeah, as I said, it needs a re-ink. So there's been lots of reinkers that have come back into Europe. Um, for those of you who've been following the EU customs issue that Stampin' Up! have had, it means that a lot of our reinkers have been sitting waiting to be released because they've been awaiting documentation. So, okay, I didn't want there to be such a stark contrast between these two, so... Just add some extra. Oh, Pembloith Happis, Deborah. That's right. So the Pembloith Happis is happy birthday in Welsh. Pembloith Happis City. Pembloith Happis City. Pembloith Happis City, Deborah. Pembloith Happis City. Oh, Cindy was watching English telly. Or the English game. What's that about then? Oh, is it about cricket? I presume it must be about cricket. Or is it rugby? Oh, no, that's... Mm, I don't know. What gets referred to as the English game then, Cindy? Oh, soccer. <laughs> Oops, I should have known that. Dear me, show, showing up my knowledge. Okay, so we're going to go all grungified. So that calls for using this stamp. Ah, oh. Bloy Tapis Ihi means, or Ihi Ihi means happy birthday to you. You make that look so easy. Oh, well, it, it really is as easy as what I've just done, to be honest. Um, it's just about having the, the courage just to go for it. So, go for it. <laughs> Cynthia, go for it, go for it. And if you want to try and emulate exactly how I've done something, please feel free just to watch my video and stop and start or slow it down or whatever you want to do. Um, so just let me just go over colours because in case I forget to tell you. So I use So Saffron, Seaside Spray and Soft Sea Foam. And the reason I do tell you colours as well is because on your computer devices and things like that, you may not 
it may come out slightly different so right so more grunginess so I'm not even going to put this on a a block I'm just going to add this by hand And give us a bit of a wipe. So if you're enjoying this video and you've, you're fairly new to my channel, please remember to subscribe. It's an easier way to find me again. And if you hit the bell button as well, it, um, you know, you'll get notified. This stamp set the comfort and hope one if you're into grungy it is fabulous if you love that kind of look especially this sort of thready looking stamp it's just amazing and when you especially when you're using it with a dark color you can just stamp and stamp you can get about five impressions from one inking so that's pretty good good value for money i say I'm having a whale of a time doing this. Just building up the the texture here. So Esther was <laughs> Esther was helping me clear out my craft room the other day, and there was a company of who creates the most beautiful papers. They're not not stamping up, of course, stamping up do, but there are other companies out there. Uh, the company is uh, Basic Grey, and they do very grungy things like this. And she was like, why do you need to hold on to those papers? You don't need them. You don't need them. And I was like, yes, I do. I do. I just, I, I like to stroke them. <laughs> and also it's quite fun for inspiration as well. So right. just pop a few of these here and there. Although I want to change colour. I think I'm getting a bit bored of the pretty peacock, but we'll see. So you can kind of experiment with layering up these different textures. Oh, that's interesting, Inika. So Inika knows a bit of Indonesian. Oh, I keep calling it tranquil tide. Yes, thank you, Wendy. Thank you for the correction. It's because we used to have a colour called tranquil tide, which was similar to this one. Hi, Deborah. It's gone very quiet. Oh, what? Can you hear me? Um, sorry. Is pretty peacock. <laughs> You liking these colours? Oh, Deborah, I'm pleased. Right, some stamps. Ooh. Ooh. Just seeing this on my desk. So you can make your own stamps by just layering, not layering, popping a few stamps together on a block. one in there. Like that. There we go. Okay, and then we'll bring back the yellow. So if this so saffron doesn't show up too well, what I might do is just grab the daffodil delight. So oh thank you Lorraine. Oh I should have got my mats out but there we go. Oh, that shows up quite nicely, doesn't it? All right, let's just turn this around and stamp again. Okay, so it's very faint. Probably can't see that. Oh. 
Oh, thank you, Debbie. Debbie Streisen. Am I reading that correctly? Welcome. Are you new to my channel? Thank you, Inika. Strelsin. Oh, sorry, I read it as an your L as an I. I yeah, I couldn't see it properly. Strelsin. Is this your first time on a live, Debbie? Oh, Cynthia's loving the yellow. Good, good. Strelsin, not stressing. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm just using the, this is Seaside Spray. I'm just going in between all the, the large flowers to have a bit of a, a centre, just to be a bit different. Okay. And then I'm taking that little, like, just a few dots really but it, they make very good centers and I'm so sorry about my nails because I've been scrubbing and cleaning today so my nail varnish is starting to wear off but I didn't have time to re-sort it out for you guys so I'll just I'll speed stamp so that you ignore my nails right the last thing I wanted to add something from here because I'm actually going to use the dragonflies on this still haven't found that stamp I've got a feeling it's gone to the great beyond you know where all stamps go <laughs> oh with a 17 month old in my arms sitting a grandchild oh that's lovely Debbie enjoy So these are very faint in the background, but this is what I wanted. I didn't want them to be too imposing. They're just like a really fine detail in the background. So I hope you can see it. I'll, I'll come in a bit closer in a second so that you can see how this looks. Yes, much better. Thank you, Gina. Well, if it was around when you were chopping, it probably ran away. <laughs> no, I haven't cut anything in this stamp set yet. You'll be pleased to know. Okay, so... There we go. You see that there in the background? Just very subtle. All right. Hmm, what else, what else, what else? Okay, I like sometimes putting these dots together as well. So I'm kind of looking for gaps to fill now with these very subtle little almost they almost look like little droplets of water and I have thought of maybe using water on this afterwards and doing some maybe some spraying or some little droplets 
just to see what will happen. So I might still do that because it is interesting if you colour in a piece of white or very vanilla cardstock and then you sprinkle droplets on, it makes this really cool effect. So I may yet do that. Oh, I think we're a bit early for Glenna. Glenna tends to come in a bit later, I think. So I just want to stretch out this bit of blending, so to go across, because I'm going to be cutting this in half and, in, and into quarters. So I do want the edges to be a bit darker. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Gina. Oh, is Ness... Sorry, it just reminds me, Ness's dad's not well as well. Hi, Amanda. Right, I was going to cut this up, but I think what I might do is just get some dragonflies ready initially. So, if I colour some of this cardstock. So this was a the piece of card that I cut off yesterday's wreath. I'm just going to put some yellow down here. Um, I've got Pretty Peacock here. No, I, I wasn't thinking of adding Pacific Point because that's taking the blues in a different kind of direction. So I'm just going to... So this is Seaside Spray again. I'm just adding that to make a blotchy effect. <coughs> right, so, Deborah, which... Deborah Mitchum, which dragonfly do you prefer? The top one or the bottom one? <coughs> Good night, Esther. Sleep well. Bottom. Bottom. No, it's... This is seaside spray, and then the other one was... Pretty peacock. Right, so then what I'm going to do is just snippity snip. Oh, you're welcome, Gina, anytime. Mm -hmm. 
So the reason I coloured these in a little bit before I stamped them was because I thought that the starkness of the white might be a little bit too much, but we've got a little bit of it poking through at different points. So it's quite pretty. Okay, so let's see what these look like on, on here. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, let's cut this up. Let's see what happens. No, I'm using just the old Whisper White. I haven't got any of the basic white just yet. Oh, I'm sorry, Samantha. Oh. Yeah, I think that happened to Wendy as well. Is it definitely in the UK? If you check to see that they're in the UK. Hi, Jan. Okay, so I'm going by the direction that I stamped those dandelion, uh, yeah, dandelions, no, they're more like daisies. Right, so that's that direction, that's that direction and that's that direction. So let's see, oh yeah, looks pretty. Oh yes, I think the winks, yes, I think a bit of wink would look very nice. Yeah. Okay, so I want to just experiment for a second by darkening up the edges of one of these a bit more because I feel it can take it. Oh, it was so lovely to see some of you guys on Julie's live the other day with Craig playing the piano. It was so nice, so relaxing. Well, thank you for supporting my fellow demo, Timmy. She's my stamping sister in the UK. 
So if you don't follow Julie Ketterwell, if you like music, every Thursday evening she makes a card with uh, her partner playing piano music in the background. It's very relaxing. Yes, the darkened edges highlight the centre. Yep. There we go. And then, you know, you might decide, okay, so I want some more texture coming in from the side too. So just going to do that a bit more as well. Oh really, they feel quite dry. I try and remember to moisturise them every night because, the, well, over the weekend they did take a bit of a battering with the paint and everything, so I try and moisturise. There we go. So that just helps to show up that the centre part a bit more, but then it kind of loses the dragonfly, so I'm just going to make this area a bit darker here. There we go. There we go. So the dragonfly shows up a bit more. And it's really nice having this lighter yellow bit. It almost looks like sunshine peeking through, but it's flowers. So it's really pretty. Uh, where is my wink of Stella gone? Well, I had her out earlier. Oh, you have dragonflies around your garden. Oh, oh, lovely. So when you will use the Wink of Stella, because it is a liquid, although it's got, I think it's got alcohol in it, it dries very quickly. It does reactivate the ink a little bit. So you see how it sort of just spreads that colour around. So it's actually quite a useful tool to remember that you can do that sometimes with this gorgeous glittery pen. When you have one of these glitter pens in your life, you will never, never not have one. <laughs> Isn't that right, Wendy? Wendy loves her wink at Stella. They last for ages, and when you think you've run out, just squeeze a bit of alcohol ink, um, alcohol, like surgical spirit, or not spirit, surgical alcohol. Oh, you know what I mean. The stuff you get from the chemist. And, um, yeah, you can put some more in it to get all the bits of glitters out. I know, everything's better with a bit of wink, isn't it? Oh, that's good news, Christine. Ding, ding. Okay, so for this one, I'm not going to add any more to the sides, but what I want to do is just darken up an area around here where the dragonfly is going to sit so that you've got that added contrast behind it. So just remember when you're card making the importance of contrasts because that does help to make things show up a bit more. So if you've got a focal point and you're thinking, okay, why does that show up? What's wrong with it? You know, put a, maybe a dark border around it or something or create a, an area of dark behind the focal point and it will just help to make that, that pop a bit more. So you see that just a few little bits of stamping, that's just made that dragonfly show up even, even more, hasn't it? But of course, we still need a bit of wink on here. So I'm just going to do that very quickly and then move on to the next one. And then we'll glue these all together. I think a few little gems might not go amiss. So this one with the two, let's have a look. So here we've got quite a dark area, so that's not too bad. So I'm wondering whether to stamp some more of these. Coming down from the corner. Did I just see Navarana come in? Hey, Navarana. 
Oh, thank you. So these colours are next to each other on the colour wheel. That's why they are very harmonious with each other. It almost emulates, you know, the movement of their wings having these lovely circles. Okay. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Just read what Christine said. Dogs can pick up on things. I have a stumping up friend who has a, a dog that picks up on her heart rate or... I think it's either her heart rate or whether she's going to have a fit or something. Okay, so that's that one. So as you can see, I'm not just being content with these, you know, stamping a whole sheet. I'm then adding extra in, into what I'm doing just to enhance everything. So although a lot of it is, you know, chance I just randomly stamped initially, when it comes to actually then finishing off your cards and embellishing them, it's okay to be a little bit more contrived and go in there and and put more detail. So I'm also looking at these bobbles here, sort of these bubbles, and I will think I want to have a few more up in that corner. Oh wow, that's interesting. About COVID dogs, didn't know that. Your latest project is in blues. Ah, okay. So I'm just wiping my glasses. I've just realised I've got a big splodge on them. I can't see. Oh, hold on. Oh, I've got splodges everywhere. Right. Let's get into sticking these down. But before that, I'm just going to clean off these ink... Sorry, stamps, because some very dark colour on these and I might need to stick my fingers in them if I don't clean them. Right, put that away. Let's go back up. Oh, you're welcome, Sue. Just a little bit of glue on there. That one. Oh, maybe it should have gone the other way. Never mind. Hi, Denise. Oh, at different times. How, how do you get notified? Do you follow me on Facebook? Because I I put the link in two places on Facebook. So if you're subscribed to, or if you follow my Artful Stamping page and you're getting notifications from there, you should get a notification. And then on YouTube, are you, all your notification settings switched on? Hi, Anne. Um. 
I was just thinking, if you don't have these floral stamps, of course you can use any anything really. It's just the, sort of the technique that I was wanting to share with you today. Okay, I think some little gems. I might just break out some... <laughs> break out. I might use some old ones that need using up. my embellishments around. What have we done with them all? I we'll have some pearls. Oh, those gorgeous new opals. Oh, oh my goodness. These are just divine. Look at these. Glitter in them. Oh, look at that. Those are super yum. Now I know it can seem a little bit pricey to buy embellishments, but they do go a long way. And when you just use them well, you know, you don't actually have to use loads and loads. The time to use loads is when you get them in the sale. Just saying. If you guys know me, you know I'm quite frugal. Hi Renee. <laughs> Martina says, actually, I was contemplating to ask you, Ruth, to make a one-sheet wonder with just pattern stamps. You might have turned it into my desires. Ah, there we go. Oh, Martina, thank you for my card. I received it today. Right. I don't know what these are doing in here. They're not meant to be in here, but anyway, I'm glad they are because they are so pretty. Oh, I hope I find the other ones because I think they're slightly smaller and though it's nice to go down in levels. I always like to use three in a row. So just having two is a bit upsetting for me. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. How does everyone film their Facebook and or YouTube? Uh, everyone? I don't know what everyone does. I know what I do. Any of those smaller ones? Oh well. I'll just have to live with that one. Okay, so I then spotted. Oh, 
Oh, these gorgeous like aqua ones. Oh, those look nice. So I'm sorry, but these are retired embellishments. So, um, where's Bonnie? Oh, um, Bonnie, the way I film mine is I use a phone and, um, I have an, like an arm that holds holds my phone over the area that I'm working. Uh, some people sort of have fancy rigs and things built, but I wouldn't recommend that until you're kind of quite confident that you're going to be doing it often enough. But uh, this little arm thing works really well and they're not too expensive. I think they're about 20 to 30 pounds. So, um, yeah, they're a great way to start. Uh, use what we've got, you've got. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, um, yeah. The, the other thing to just be aware of, Bonnie, is just make sure you've got good lighting. So I'm aware that my this is my nighttime lighting. It's it's not always brilliant, and so that will be something I'm going to be looking into in the future to sort of maybe change the lighting a bit. But. Um, yeah, and yeah, like I said, different different people do it different ways, and the the thing is not to try and emulate anybody else, but just do it your way. Find what works for you. Oh, just sparkle, I think, is quite nice, isn't it? I like just sparkle. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. Sorry if I sounded like I was being rude. I didn't mean to be rude. I just meant that you know. That there are, it's like saying how long's a piece of string, you know, that different broadcasters do it in lots of different ways. So some people use an actual camera that they then plug into their computers, whereas some people just do it direct. Um, so the thing to be aware of is that with Facebook, you can go live direct. All you need to do is have an account and get, you can go live. But on YouTube, if you want to go live from a device, you need to have 1,000 1, subscribers. Right. Uh, there are yeah, there's lots of elements. If um, you're wanting to edit, there are a few more things that, to think about. But I would say don't let that stop you. Just kind of go for it. So um, yeah, just go for it. But the best way to learn is just have a go. You know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible. I'm a stickler for directness and um, not directness, uh, being specific about questions. <laughs> I always encourage my kids to ask the correct questions to the answer, you know, to to get the answers they want. So um, when when people generalise, I I really struggle. I'm really sorry if it came across really bonny. Um, I struggle because. Um, I, I then think, what what is it you're asking me? You know, I don't mind answering a question if I know what the the question is. Sorry, yeah, I don't mind answering if I know what the question is. So anyway, hope that helped, Bonnie. Mwah. <laughs> um, thank you, Ali. Yes, we have. Four, I I thought so, uh, Denise. Yeah. Yeah. What sort of phone do you have, Bonnie? Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, they're all really similar, so I can't, I mean, I can ask you which your favourite is, but, um, oh, I've just realised that one of these is meant to be the other way round. That one. That one's meant to be facing in the other direction. Oh, it's too late. Oh, well, never mind. So, un, deux, trois, quatre. Oh, I'll tell you the other thing we sorted out today is, um, so there's a greenhouse in the garden where I am at the moment and, you know, over 10 years of living here, a few panes of glass missing. So my husband was looking up on Amazon, you know, how much it cost to buy a pane of glass, you know, how to get a glass cutter, ra di ra di ra. I said, you know what, let's just phone the glass company in town. Let's ask them. So I've done, I, ha I did and I've ordered the glass that's coming, well, it, was, it arrives at the shop next week. 
So um, we're hoping to get that all sorted. So we, we feel very accomplished today. So. <laughs> Does he, Jan? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. So which one was it? Thanks. I suppose you could have a dragonfly flying down. I just, I have this thing about things flying downwards. It just, to me, it just feels not quite right. But, um, yeah, I guess you could have one flying off somewhere else. And even this one I really, I'm struggling with because that's two focal points and I'm like, ah, it's meant to have either three or one. But, um, maybe I could put a sentiment in the middle. There we go. Thank you, Wendy, for that input. Yeah, if you've got a fairly good phone, you can even edit on your phone as well. So, I mean, it's so different. I mean, every year, every year, the technology just gets better and better. You know, I mean, who'd have thought that we could film in HD on a phone? You know, it's amazing. Yeah. You want a tour when you're all done, all done. Yeah, I, yeah, I'd love to do that, Deborah. I'm wondering whether it'd be better for me to do a bit of a tour while, when everything's em the house is empty and then <laughs> do a tour when the house is full of our stuff. <laughs> oh, water lilies, yes. That would be gorgeous, Amanda. It's a Mr and Mrs. What, well, they're flying off in different directions. <laughs> Tiny dragonflies, yes, could do that. Which I wonder if I've got any scraps of that. I've got a bit of this yellow and bluey stuff that I did earlier. There we go. Another one. Anyway, you could have such fun with this technique, adding little embellishments here and there. Oh, excuse me. Oh, did you, Janice? I was just, I just caught up with your watery experiments earlier tonight. Could be why I was a little bit late. <laughs> and then I went down the rabbit hole of watching something about Robin Williams. <laughs> I was like, no, I've got to do a live. <laughs> so. so if I do a Facebook live, can any friends and family see it? How do I notify my crafty friends to watch? Uh, Phoebe, it's probably best that you set up your own Facebook group. So um, I would suggest that if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you want to create a bit of a following, you know, a group of people around you who follow what you do, then create your own group. And it also means that you don't have to always put things on your personal page your, your personal profile because you can then invite your friends who are interested rather than bombarding them with information so I would suggest you have definitely a Facebook group but also if you're wanting to be a bit more serious about your business I would say set up a Facebook page so have a page which is like your shop front and then your group which is your community so I know Mr and Mrs have a little baby now I know I'll find a little teeny weeny sticker to go in that one. Oh no, I've got I've got baby ones of those. That one. Oh, I might have got one of those. Little twist ones. Matt, I know. I keep thinking I want to get. Does anyone know what little program I could download onto a PC for my daughter to learn typing? 
My husband said that that was one of the most useful things he learned at sixth form, was touch typing. He said it's such a useful skill. The Ten Finger Course. I used to have a program on a computer called Maybe Speak and Teachers Typing. I did a few of the exercises, they were good. They do do help you to remember where letters are. I'm not you know, I don't think I could do it all completely not looking, but it does help. Just Google it. Okay, we'll do. Phoebe was a keyboarding teacher, were you? Could you teach my daughter? <laughs> Can you do Zooms? Zoom teachers, teachings. Mavis Beacon, yeah. Mavis Beacon teaches typing. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm just sitting here sticking uh, dragonflies on there. There we go. <laughs> Worst job ever. <laughs> oh, come on. You know you wanna. I know it is. The answer to everything. Not quite. It might help you find the answers to everything, but Google's not the answer to everything. Right, I'm just fiddling around with. Oh look, mint macaron. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save these two little gems for a nice project. Right, I'm gonna say good night. So, um. Hi, Ronald. Sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, yes, a happy Deb happy birthday to you, Deborah, and to and then I think there's someone else on Artful Stamp in Space whose birthday is today, Christine. Um, Christine. Oh, there's so many Christines. I've forgotten her surname, but she shares a birthday with you. Deborah. So if you're watching, Christine, happy birthday to you too. Right. And so also do check out the Facebook on Artful Stamping Space. It's a January birthday section. So if you want to say happy birthday to people, please put it in the January birthday chat. And also if you want to share a birthday card. So it could be a birthday card that you've made this month or one that you've just made in the past and you'd like to share it with everybody. It's a way of saying happy birthday to everybody whose birthday's in January. So in the next few days, I'll be sorting out the one for February. So if your birthday's in February, just go to that post and just say, my birthday's this day or whatever. And um, we'll then make sure we post something to wish you happy birthday. Okay. Right. Lots of love to you all. Thank you for joining me. And uh, I'll try and keep you updated with stuff. <laughs> I might post a couple of pictures on Artful Stamping Space. of um, I had the electrician in today doing some, put it, fit it, fixing some new lights and stuff. So that was really exciting. Take care for now. Good night. Bye. You're welcome, Cindy. Remember to give me a thumbs up. Thank you.